Oh my goodness, guys. A major hack, a major scam has been uncovered today by Zach XBT. Yes, yet again, our very own Batman of the Web3 crypto space has cracked another case. Well, let's get into this hack, how big it was, who did it. Let's dive right in here. By the way, the breakdown here, it is by Zach XBT himself. So GG's to him and uh, man, guy keeping us safe, keeping you bad guys in check guys a quarter billion dollars was stolen this was just last month in august in fact i remember seeing this come across the timeline a lot of alerts going out that there was a big hack people thought it was malicious yes indeed it turns out it was all right let's dive into this see again who stole it how they did it we're starting with three characters here who who uh were the hackers were the malicious uh bad actors Greavies, his real name is malone em or lamb Wiz. His name is Veer Chattel and Box Jindil Serrano. Again, $243 million from a single person. This was social engineering, guys. Absolutely brutal. Uh, always good to say, guys, do not trust anybody in this space, including me. Anybody DMs you trying to get access to your seed phrase, wants you to uh, share your screen, never, never, ever, ever do it, guys. Um, let's get into this starting with... Some of the chat logs. We have a lot of footage, by the way. I should say Zach provided us with a lot of footage. So as we go, we'll actually watch some of the video footage here. Um, again, this was social engineering, and this took place back on August 19th. So one of these three guys was posing as Google support. Okay, they were able to contact this person. I don't know if we know their identity yet. Pretended to be Google support and ultimately got access to his email account. Guys, that's a common attack vector. That's how my assets were stolen back in 2017. Uh, my Bitrix account uh, was compromised. It started with getting my email compromised. I got in my email, reset my passwords. Be very, very careful with your email here. Uh, after they compromised the Google account, they also then followed up by posing as Gemini. It is an exchange. They posed as support from Gemini, telling him his account was hacked. Again, it was the bad actors here. And ultimately, they engineered him into resetting his two-factor authentication. It probably sent that 2FA uh, code key, whatever, to his email. Um, and then they also got him to transfer funds to another wallet. They got this guy in multiple ways, multiple vectors here. Um, because on top of that, using a, a, a screen sharing application called AnyDesk, they also got him to reveal his seed phrase right on the screen. Guys, this guy fell for... Uh, Every trick in the book, it's actually incredible. They were able to pull it off. Again, you cannot trust anybody here in this space. All right, let's get a little deeper into this here. Uh, you heard it was social engineering. We're going to look here at the reaction of the the bad guys, the, uh, the attackers here. Their reaction to starting to see uh, the funds uh, leave his account, hit their wallets. Check this out. This is actually very, very wild, guys. Hang on a sec. Get me out going here. Oh, wow. Wow, no it. way. No fucking way. I see it. It's on the blockchain. It's on the blockchain. Bro. Oh no fucking way, nigga. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're hearing no it as way. it happened. A quarter billion dollars leaving this poor guy's wallet into their wallet. Incredible. Yes. Holy fuck, nigga. Oh my god. Oh my god! Bro, bro, I'm gonna spaz out! It's hard to listen to, it is. Yo! We're done! We're done! I'm spazzing out! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much money that is? It's a quarter, Holy it's a quarter, it's a quarter of a bill. Do you know how much prison time that is? And yeah, stick around for the end. You'll Trouble be happy. Yeah. Three right. ways or is it four ways? That's oh! pretty, pretty pretty funny. Pretty, pretty, pretty 10 pretty bonus. I'm gonna lose my shit. Yo, how do I hold on? Okay, if you got eagle eyes here, you may notice some things around the screen if not here in a later screenshot, but these guys were not as careful as they thought they were. I'm still wondering who, how, how Zach actually got these screenshots, how he actually got these video recordings. Pretty incredible. Um, but Zach uh, breaking down here, the individual uh, 
transaction hashes. You can go check these on a block explorer. Oh, wow. You can see the transactions leaving his wallet, hitting their wallets here. Again, they had compromised him so many ways. I'm not sure why they didn't just log into his wallet, right? Just import his wallet and send it out themselves. And that might be what they did. They could have done that. It sounds like they also got him to transfer it to a wallet that he probably thought was safe. Uh, ultimately was not. It was a wallet they had set up. Um, check this out. You can see, and this might be hard to see, so we won't, probably won't stay on this too long. Uh, but you see multiple of the victim's wallet. Okay, guys. I see, I see why it was multiple avenues, guys. I think they compromised multiple wallets of his. It wasn't just one wallet. It was four separate wallets. That's how they got all of it. Oh, my goodness. That's how they got that it wasn't all in one wallet. Multiple wallets compromised in different ways. That's absolutely incredible. Um, oh, it's wild. All right, let's check back a little further here. Uh, we got the private video recording. We got the guys geeking out, um, which you can kind of understand. They took that 243 and split it off between each party. Uh, it was either a three or four way split here. It's hard to tell from that audio. We could check on chain. I think we're okay. Just knowing the fact that it happened. Um, and they split it off between 15 different exchanges. On those exchanges, they swapped back and forth between Litecoin, Ethereum, Monero. Um, absolutely wild. Absolutely wild. Okay. Um, Wiz, whose real name is Veer. Received a large percentage cut from the theft. He slipped up during the screen share. I think that's what we were just looking at there by leaking his full name during the theft. These guys were not as careful as they should have been uh, because during that screen share, you see it right here, his name popped right up on the screen. You can see it right down here. This is Veer Chattel. Um, one of the many, many ways Zach was able to track this guy down. So not as careful as they needed to be. Okay. Um, Wiz's friend, and I don't know if he was involved here, um, in the initial hack, but he certainly helped, uh, launder the funds afterwards. His, he goes by the name, uh, Akash, Akash. Yep. Helped launder the funds for him using, uh, X, uh, XCH, X, uh, some kind of exchange and Thor swap. So probably, um, like a mixing protocol, um, like tornado cash. I've not used these before. I think that's probably what these things are. Uh, and then similar to Wiz, also leaked his name during that screen share. Oh, brutal. Um, this is how this is how Zach was able to get... Um, oh, geez, some of the addresses. Start following the trail there. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, I hate this fucking thing. Okay, this looks like importing a wallet. So this may be the one that they got the seed phrase from. And if this is the correct video, the one I'm thinking of, you'll see what happens, Wait. but imports no, the no, wallet. Here. I, do the seed daddy. And do through ThorSwap. Uh, to the top right, said through ThorSwap, takes some of the Bitcoin in that wallet, the chunk that was broken off to him, and swaps it, you'll see, for some Thanks, Ether. Bar. Settings. <laughs> Dark. Here. No, not that. Like the, the swap, swap settings. All of them watching together live. They're screen sharing with each other. One of them must have recorded, and I don't know why he would do that. Oh. Set custom recipient. Set your Maddie. Oh, you're worried about me keeping up? No, I just want. I'm keeping it all in one Addy. Joking, bro. If you either scan it, like this, all my ethers in there. Ah, uh, I'll be taking her. No, bro. What the hell? There you go, about nine, nine. fifty Bitcoin. Converting to uh, almost 1,200 ETH. Yo, estimated time. I don't want to know how much time. Bro. Oh my god. What? While they're playing games in the background, like this is like a casual thing for them. That's fine, yeah, that's fine. 50 coins all day. Doesn't work. Okay, and there's your swap. What do you mean it doesn't work? It doesn't work. Oh, it did. It's just, okay, good. Fuck. Don't, like, don't forget that I can't cancel this. You can't. Crazy. Alright, okay. bro, you're so horrible. You can't. Bro, I'm clearly Okay, so there's that Taylor. swap. They're gonna check the, well, uh, ice. block explorer. Yo. There you go. 
What's the balance? Checking in the mempool, seeing that the tra transaction made it out. Let's it was broadcast, picked up. Okay. Um, absolutely crazy. All right, let's keep going. Uh, some screenshots here uh, of what these guys have been doing. They were not careful. Um, in fact, beyond that, they were reckless. They posted online pictures of what they were spending their money on. It looks like this guy Malone goes by uh, uh, Greaves. Uh, Greaves? Yeah. Uh, probably the biggest offender as far as posting online. Greaves lives a flashy lifestyle with the stolen funds, having purchased 10-plus cars, going out to clubs in L.A. and Miami with friends, spending two hundred fifty to $500,000 a night, giving out Birkin bags to girls. During video clips and in chats, multiple people refer to him as Malone and was flexing stolen funds on Discord. Currently, $3.5 million tied to uh, Grievy's sits here. So they give us an address there we can look at. That's an ETH address. Here, let's take a look at some of that evidence, okay? 10-plus cars, this pink car and these bags... Oh my goodness, he was going to gift this to some girl. Okay, got you a present. We'll call it an early, early birthday present. A thank you. I appreciate you so much. She replies, I am taken once again. And he replies, I don't care. Now, I don't think this is one of the guys here. I'm not sure who this is, but you see two cars there. I'm assuming both stolen or bought with stolen funds. Now, some of these are the people that stole those funds. I'm not sure who is who. I don't know which is Malone, but you can see taking trips. Uh, here's another car that was purchased. I don't know what it's a, a, I don't know what this even is and how much a car like this costs. No idea. And man, I hope that comes through. I think you can see that well enough. Um, a lot of money spent on jewelry too. Good Lord. All diamonds, huh? Reckless to be posting this online. Absolutely. I mean, these guys deserve to get caught. Let me spoil it for you too, by the way. They did get caught. They did get caught. Uh, Greaves, Greavies was located at OSINT in LA, Miami uh, due to friends and girls posting his location on social media. Okay, so they were getting photos of him, probably tracking this guy. Also has an Instagram account where he posted photos of himself using his name uh, earlier this year. All right, let's look at some of this evidence here. Again, not a smart man. Jeez. Uh, okay, here we are at a club. Uh, Poppy. Poppy, I don't know which uh, where that's located here. These dudes rented half the club. That's how you throw a party. Okay, here's Coco in Miami throwing his name up all over this club. Oh, absolute freaking fool. Oh, what a fool here. All over the club. All over the freaking club. What an idiot. Oh, geez, not smart. Um, Unbelievable. And again, we're going to see Malone right here. I think... I think... Yeah, here's his uh, Instagram account. Uh, this guy here or this guy? I think it's him. Obviously spending a lot of money on, on clothes, too. I walk in unannounced in clothes I can't pronounce. Uh, he'll have a lot of time in prison to read up and learn how to pronounce some of this shit. Uh, absolutely wild. Box... Uh, name is Jin Deal or John, played a role by calling the victim as the Gemini exchange rep. Remember, they social engineered him not by not just with as a Google rep, right, to get access to his Google account or to reset his two-factor, uh, but also as a Gemini support agent to tell him, hey, your account here is compromised too. We need to screen share. And I think this is how they got his, uh, his seed phrase. Uh, on Telegram, Discord, and other platforms, Box uses the same... PFP. So they were able to track his accounts by looking at the accounts using that PFP. $18 million tied up, uh, tied to box sits in this ETH address here. Let's take a look at some of those photos. Okay. Uh, and Danny Trauma, Danish, was active in the inner circle. Oh, excuse me, inner telegram chat as Mish, although it's not clear his exact role. It is known he has access to multiple bankruptcy uh, database. Okay, interesting. Uh, his ex-girlfriend leaked all these photos on social media, uh, so his info is out there, too. Let's look at some of these screenshots. Again, foolish freaking kids. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, okay. All right, we're looking at some of their... No, we're looking at their telegram here. Okay. Yeah, just a lot of them coordinating... Um, this could be the PFP that they were tracking across, uh, different socials. 
Yeah, not smart. Not smart, guys. Uh, okay, a cluster of ETH addresses tied to both Box and Wiz received $41 million from two exchanges over the past few weeks, primarily flowing to luxury goods, brokers to purchase cars, watches, jewelry, and other designer clothes. Okay. Uh, just seeing the money flow here. It's uh, Zach XPT is a master at tracking this stuff, an absolute master. You can't get, you cannot get anything by this guy. Um, I gotta, I will keep shouting out Zach XPT. This is not my research, guys. This is Zach XPT's research. This is what he does, and he's very, very good at it. Um, you get a DM from Zach, you're in trouble. I will continue to shout out Zach and give him full credit for everything we're seeing here. So I don't get a DM from Zach. No, I would love to say hi to the guy one day. He's he's really um, just such a huge, huge asset for this space. I remember Zach coming up in this space too. Incredible dude. Uh, with the assistance of CF Investigators and Zero Shadow IO and the Binance security team, more than $9 million has been frozen and 500000 has been returned back after working closely with the victim to investigate the incident. Good, good, good. We need to get more back. I don't know if they can. As a result of the investigation, Bucks and uh, Greavies were arrested yesterday, thank God, in Miami and in L.A. I would expect law enforcement seized additional funds during the arrest due to large transfers around that period of time. Young guy. Young guy, stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, I don't know which one is which. I don't know if that's Greavies. Yeah, I'm not sure here. Um, these guys are going to get a lot of prison time. Here you go, man. Look at that. FBI raids luxury home with long gun, guns and tactical gear. Can you imagine these guys when those guys pulled up? Can you imagine? Uh, unreal. This post, by the way, uh, will be updated as the legal case progresses. In the meantime, mint a free collectible to commemorate the investigation of the stolen 243 million bucks on Zora. Uh, it's a memento. It's a memento. It's a little digital collectible here to commemorate this event to celebrate the bad guys not winning. They thought they did in the short term. Um, you pull off something like this in the space, and you'll have you'll be on Zach XPT's radar uh, right away. Again, I remember him tweeting this in August. I remember this, him pointing it out and saying he thinks that this is a uh, malicious attack, that this is a hack. And he was right, and I'm really glad we got the follow-up this quickly. Absolutely wild story, guys. Um, this space, as dirty, dirty as it is, there are, on the opposite end, good guys like Zach helping to police it, helping to keep it safe. Um, I hope this makes you, if you are one of those kind of scammy dudes, hope this makes you think twice before before you maybe um, dive into the uh, the dark side of crypto. There you have it, guys. Uh, incredible, uh, dirty. I hope this guy gets all his funds back. It's just a great reminder, guys. Be very safe with your assets. Do not share your screen. Um, do not trust DMs from people, even if you think you know who they are. The, the uh, social engineering, the spoofing in this space, it's much bigger and it's deeper than you think. Be very, very careful out there with your funds, guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed that as updates come in from Zach. I'll keep you posted. Let me also put Zach up on the screen one more time. Definitely worth a follow here, guys. Zach XBT doing the Lord's work. Incredible stuff. Guys, enjoy the rest of your day here. See you.